Hey, what's going on guys? Boost the Whips here. Today we're going to be uh, showcasing the IMR um, front mount intercooler. Um, it's a full system, so it goes from the actual uh, throttle body all the way down with your cold and the hot uh, side and also um, upgrades or replaces the, the uh, flange that goes where the uh, blow valves are. Um, so these are custom... Um, built uh so it's built to order it does take quite a while um i think mine came in within six to eight weeks if i'm not mistaken um so they are customized and they get built welded on and then they get power coated if you don't get power coating i believe it cuts it down about a week or two so um but it just looks beautiful um getting it power coated they have you can do any color basically they do have preset options um but I went with Illusion Red. So this is how the Illusion Red looks like. It does have some flakes. When the sun hits it, it just looks super beautiful. Um, so definitely uh, pops out if you're going to like car meets, car shows, and you want to pop your hood. Um, just looks super great. But on top of all that stuff, you do get better breathing. This, this is a three inch piping. So you get more breathing room. You do definitely get more circulation. And obviously you can bring your AIT temperatures uh, down. Um, after testing it, I'm getting about anywhere from like 10 degrees to maybe 15 above ambient, which is a pretty good um, indication for this system. Uh, compared to stock, I think I was seeing um, probably about 25 to maybe 30 uh, um, above ambient. Uh, just depends on the condition and all that stuff. But uh, great improvement, I would say, you know, so it's really definitely worth it. It's doing its thing. I do want to get the car uh, dynoed as well, so um, I might do a, a dyno on it uh, before the tune. Uh, last run I think we did, we had about a 350 with the tune disabled uh, to the wheels. So I just want to see uh, with this just add on, see what it does, and then we'll jump it back up to uh, map 3 with E30 on it, um, and then see where we're at, and then do a comparison um, with that. So. I want to give you guys different shots, different views. I'll go ahead and power on the car, give it a few revs. And then uh, if you guys have any questions, you can always write to me. So, All right, guys. Here are some nice top views for the full system. So you guys can see you have the pipe that's coming into the throttle body all the way down to where the intercooler will go. Um, you have your flange here, which holds the um, blow-up valve. Same thing upgraded with the piping. Uh, going into the turbos on this area here, then you have your other pipe which goes to the intercooler. Um, it's a beautiful system as you guys can see. Now, do note guys, I just want to put this here as well. If you do plan putting or installing this um, by yourself, uh, do know that it is a tedious job. Um, because of the three inch piping, it's a very tight fit. So everything, it's very like uh, middle school where you gotta go and make sure that everything is aligned properly so that you have enough clearance, whether it be on the intake side um, or here on the flange area to clear that pulley that's there. Um, same thing with the intercooler, make sure that it's nice and straight, stuff like that. Uh, the shop was, was recommending me. I got this installed at Asian Motors. I had to leave the vehicle overnight um, for X, Y, and Z reasons. So I wasn't able to film the install, but um, some of the key things that they did mention was the whole tight fit. IMR also confirmed that as well. It is a tight fit because of the three inch piping. But as you guys can see, you can get it done. So one of the key notes uh, before you start tightening all these clamps on and all that stuff, you want to go ahead and mock up the whole system. Make sure that everything is clear, your intakes um, and the whole piping uh, here in the flange area um, before even tightening them. You can kind of Preset them there with the couplers um, and all that. And once you have the system nice, fully nice and clearing in all areas, you don't have any issues, you can definitely start uh, finalizing and tightening in the uh, clamps. So, and then the other keynote, obviously do not install the, uh, the bumper until it's also fully installed down there as well. Make sure that everything is nice and then you can go ahead and put the bumper back. So you're not going back and forth, um, taking more time you know, removing things that um, you don't need to. So definitely have everything nicely mocked up before finalizing install and tightening those clamps 
for the final install. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and back up the car uh, so you guys can see the intercooler. The intercooler is a big chunky piece. Uh, again, I wasn't at the um, at the uh, install, but I did had taken some pictures and I have done some stuff on Instagram where I kind of showed it. Uh, the intercooler, it is a big one. It's a 600 uh, core, 600 horsepower core. So definitely looks really nice. So I'm gonna back up the car, turn it on, give you a nice a few revs, and we'll finalize this video. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them below. Um, do know that I do have discounts at IMR. Anything that's IMR branded or products uh, from our intercoolers, secondaries, exhaust, primaries, um, and all those kinds of uh, parts that IMR offers, well, um, I can provide a discount of about 10%. I'll put the, the link in the description for this system, but anything on, the, on their store, uh, for IMR, um, actual branded products, you can use the same code. Um, it's BSTDWPZ. That will give you a 10% off on, on all their products. So um, if you guys have any questions, again, just drop a comment. I'll try to answer them. Um, if you guys want a, different videos, uh, just go ahead and also let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, thanks for your support. Until next time, Boost the Whips, I'm out. Have a very pleasant day, and God bless.